Hey guys, so this is a quick video on creating a 2D drawing from a SOLIDWORKS model. And so I'm going to go to, first of all, plain white here to see the model. And control 7 for isometric, not that it matters for the drawing. Um, next thing I'm going to do is go to File, Make Drawing from Part. So we're going to make a 2D drawing from a part. And I'm going to click OK. And sometimes it will ask you for the paper size and um, scale. I'm going to right click on sheet 1. If it doesn't do that, go to right click on sheet 1, go to properties, and this is what you're going to see. We're going to choose A and, A and C landscape for the paper size. Please turn off display sheet format and its scale is 1 to 1 for this one. Alright, I'm going to apply changes and so that basically the title block disappears and that's how it should be to start with. Okay. Next is we're going to go to um, the view palette over here and click on that and bring in the front view and drop it in and the top view and isometric and even the right view okay I'll push escape um, I'm gonna turn off these these blue origins can be turned off by going to the eyeball here and clicking on view origins turning those off push escape here we are All right so this is what we're working on and first thing is that the the isometric should be 80 percent size of the rest of the drawing okay right now it's it's one to one or hundred percent and so I'm going to click on this where it says a plus key just, or the plus tab right there. I'm just going to click on the plus mark. Click on this and then go to, to um, scale right here. Use custom scale on the left. And then um, scroll up and just say user defined. And so we want it to be 80% of the size. So think of this as like 1 over 1 is 100%. Okay, 1 over 1. If I say 4 over 5, or 4 colon 5 here, which means 4 over 5. 4 over 5 is the same as 80%, like the same as 8 over 10, okay? Reduce that down to 4 over 5, that's 80%, and that drops it down to an 80% size, and that's what this should be, okay? So that can be right there. Next is I want to bring in, um, I want to turn on the hidden lines, so click on one of the views and go choose hidden lines visible right here on all these, and this one should be fine. I'll click on this one. Same thing, hidden lines visible. So hidden lines show up for the hole going through. Next is to go to annotation tab up the top. Choose center line. Uh, choose select view and click on the views that have the hole going through it. Like this one needs one right there. And this one has one. If it doesn't click on it, and this will show up right there. Okay, cool. Next thing is to um, change the size of the center mark here. Notice the dash size on the, on the center line and the, and the hidden lines. This should be the same size. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to turn off use document de defaults. I'm going to change this to like the 0 0.05, and that's about the correct size there. Okay. I'm going to check mark that, and I'm going to click on these little extension lines here on the center mark. Kind of drag these out. If it shows a double line, then um, turn off center line font font right there. Check mark that, and now these are the correct size. Okay. That's what it should be. Notice when you click on these boxes and drag them back and forth and let go, that's what makes them the correct size. All right. Next thing is to bring in the dimensions. So I'm going to go to um, View, Layout, and Model View right here. And it says, um, I take it back, I'm going to go to Annotation and Model Items. Model Items. It says Source Destination. I want to bring the dimensions into the entire model. If it says Select a Feature, change it to Entire Model. And then just check mark this, all the dimensions come in. Make sure that you have your ANSI document properties that this should say ANSI for your drafting standard. Okay, and that changes the correct standard here. Um, and so, a couple things about this. We want to dimension this correctly. So, first of all, um, we want to group the like dimensions. Okay, so all the heights. Um, so this 25 does go here because this is the feature that shows it the best right there. And I'm going to put the 50 and the 125 um, over on this side. We're going to slide it over like this. 125 over here. Okay, we'll leave those right there. Next is whenever you see an extension line that goes through the object, we need a gap right here. So I'm going to click on this one and drag these back. And then go to the corner and just let it, that orange dot show up. Let go. And same thing on this one. Drag this back to this corner. Let go. So it creates the gap for you for the, these emissions. These are done. The 150 should go up to the top with these up here. So I'm going to bring it up here. And we're going to bring this down a little bit for this one. And this one here. And this one here. And 
that should be good. We'll leave the 40 over here like this, that 40 diameter, it's fine. The, uh, the 50 here is going through the center mark. So I'm going to click on this and bring it back over to the where the center mark is right there and let go. And that creates um, that connection for that center mark. Okay, This looks pretty good here. I'm going to bring the 25 up to there. Actually bring it outside so it's not stuck in the middle. I'm going to bring this one over to here. So watch. I'm going to use the control key. I think it's control or shelf. Let's try the control key first. Click on this with the control key and drag it over and let go. And notice how it brings it over like this and copies it over. And you can um, delete this one here. Click on that and delete it. Because it'll just use the control key and drag and drop over to this side. And we need to adjust our extension lines to there. This one up to here. And I think this one goes down too far here. Like that. There you go. So all these gaps are correct in here now. This is right. Um, the hole is there. The diameter of the hole. All the dimensions are there. Even though we have a, um, let me drag this over here a little bit. Even though this view does not have any dimensions, we're going to leave it there for now. But typically, if you don't have dimensions in the view, you may not need it. Okay, we'll leave it there just for clarity um, for now. All right, we should escape. Um, so this is it. This is done. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to snip this out to place into my slide for presentation like this. Um, and this is 2 1. All right, and that's ready to go. Okay, hope that helps. And I think I have one error right there. I'm going to change this. Hang on a minute. I'm going to go back and change this one because I had an error. This needs to go up to here. And this one goes up to here. And now I think it's right. Okay, there you go. Hope that, hopefully that helps. Have a great day. Bye.